You just got your first mocha pot and you're looking for a simple method to get started to brew your coffee with it? Follow these simple steps to get the best out from your favorite coffee. I have done several videos about mocha pot here on my channel, where you can also find very interesting videos about coffee brewing. But if you are a beginner, this is a video for you. Now let's make some coffee. In this video I'm using a BL83 cups, but if you have another mocha pot, it's fine, you can use this method with that. Now, the first thing you need, it's the coffee. I usually suggest to use fresh roasted whole beans, but to begin with, packed roasted ground coffee is fine. The positive thing of it is that it's already ground, so you just need to scoop the coffee in the basket. Also, very probably that coffee has been ground with a professional grinder, so the grinding quality is definitely superior to a cheap grinder. The negative side of packed ground coffee is that you cannot change the grind size, so if it's too coarse or too fine, you cannot change that, and also the quality will decrease faster than when you have whole beans. But if you are at the beginning of your home brewing coffee journey and you don't have a grinder at home, I suggest you to get the coffee from the store, specifically ground for mocha pot, not for filter, because that might be too coarse. In this way, you will start to familiarize with the grind size. Then, if you want to explore, go to your local roastery or cafe and ask them to grind the coffee for mocha pot. Once you have your coffee ground, place it in a container and store it in the cupboard, away from light and from heat sources. And don't store the coffee in the fridge or in the freezer. If you have a grinder at home, you can buy whole beans and grind the coffee when you need. Always keep the bag of coffee closed, nice and tight, or you can use a container and then store it in a cupboard, again, away from light and heat sources. Also, no fridge, no freezer. Now that you have your coffee ground, let's place it in the basket. Take the basket and place it on top of the upper part of the mocha pot to keep it steady. Now, take a teaspoon and start to put the coffee inside. When you reach halfway, take the basket and gently tap the coffee on the side with a finger. A little tap on the counter and then place it back on the upper part. Fill the basket with the coffee until it's full. Now, take the basket again gently tap on the side with a finger, like this. Now you see the coffee leveled and distributed well. Now give a tap on the counter and it's done. Okay, now we put this on the side and we go to the next step, placing the water in the boiler. Water in coffee is very important. In a coffee brewed with mocha pot, water is more than 95% of the drink. So using a good quality water is essential for a good tasty cup of coffee. I suggest using filtered water or bottled water, but of course if you live in a place where the quality of tap water is good, you can use that. Try to avoid to use hard tap water because it can ruin the flavor of the coffees, it can release a lot of lime scale in the mocha pot, so it could damage it. Let's take the water at room temperature and start to fill the boiler until approximately one centimeter to the valve, like this. Water should never go over the valve for safety reason, but if you keep the level of the water just one centimeter below, you will achieve a better coffee. Once the water is done, we place the basket with the coffee we already prepared before, screw the top part nice and tight, and let's go to the next step, brewing the coffee on the stove. In this video, I'm using a gas stove. If you have an induction hob, this mocha won't work because it's made of aluminium and aluminium doesn't work on induction. To make it work, you can use an adapter for induction where you can place on the hob, mocha pot on top, and this will work with the aluminium. If you have a stainless steel mocha pot, you won't have this problem. Now, when you place the mocha pot on the stove, choose the smaller hob you have. Important is that the flame are inside of the circumference of the bottom of the mocha for a better result. Turn it on and place it at low heat. Place the mocha and now let's wait. Keep the lid open so you can see when the coffee is coming out. Now the heat is warming up the water creating the steam. This steam creates the pressure that will push the water up extracting the solids from the coffee in the basket until reaching the top of the chimney and falling down into the upper chamber where the coffee is collected. When the coffee starts to come out, it should be like this, nice and steady. 
when the liquid is halfway and it starts to get lighter and faster, remove the mocha from the stove. You will have coffee still coming out because there is still pressure inside. This will reduce the chances of sputtering and over extraction. If the flow decreases or stops, place the mocha back on the stove and you will see the coffee coming out again. But when you see coming out like this, bubbling with the steam, that means that the coffee is ready. If you're going to drink all the coffee from the mocha, you can just pour it in your cup. But if you're going to split the coffee in multiple cups, I suggest you to stir the coffee with a teaspoon to mix the coffee well before pouring it. Now, the last step is to enjoy the coffee the way you like. Simple and delicious. Extra step, always remember to clean the mocha after using it. Maintaining the mocha is very important. I hope this video will help you to brew amazing coffee with your mocha pot. If you have any questions, you can always drop them in the comment section below. After you practice with this method, come back to my channel and check my other mocha pot contents. And if you want, you can start to experiment with me and become a mocha pot professional brewer. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in my next videos. And in the meantime, I wish you a wonderful day and delicious coffee. Ciao!